So do you envision women going to a pharmacist and showing an ID to get this so, in the same so manner that you do when you're buying the the best cold medicine that has the bad stuff in yeah, it? Yeah, so um, there is a, an age limit. I think you have to be 18 or older. Uh, there's a, an assessment form that you have to fill out. Um, you're required to visit a doctor every two years, so uh, you can get the prescription so book. Excuse me, this wouldn't be a prescription then? Would no, it? well, uh, the way that we're doing it is similar to what we did with naloxone. So it would be a standing order that would give the pharmacist the authority to, to um, prescribe. It's limited to the number, but it's what the majority use. And um, so I think it's a really good place to start. We really based a lot of it off of U the Utah bill, and it actually passed in Utah with unanimous support. So, and just a couple areas where they've ran into some barriers, we've tried to get in front of that and address it in the bill. So it's, it's a good place to start. I think anytime you drop legislation, it doesn't mean you, you know that that's potentially not where it'll end up. But I, we've tried to work really hard to identify uh, any problems that we might you know run into and when we're going to be supporting it. I think that bill should maybe drop today so we're really close we had a couple of I think there was a couple last minute tweaks so okay if it doesn't uh, drop today it will first of next week both that's the same with that the contraceptive bill as well as the children's mental health piece of legislation mm -hmm. should both if they don't drop today should drop at the beginning of next week.